Hello, everybody. This is D from D's Delicious Bites, and I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Back. Back with another video. Mukbang and cooking show. So, everybody, let's go. Check out my video. If you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites. Check it. Check it. Video. Check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another delicious bite. And if you've been in it for a minute, I thank you so very much for coming on back. So today, you guys, I am doing a quick and easy um, package brownie mix with a few mix-ins. And I'm making this for my grandbaby for Memorial Day because, you know, she's got to have some snacks and some dessert. So let's get it real quick. It won't take that long. Something simple and easy package mix that we're just gonna, you know, make it taste a little bit better than the package. So I have some Ghirardelli dark chocolate melting wafers. Chopped them in half, that's what's in here. Putting those in the bowl. I have some chopped pecans, pecans, however you wanna say it. Half are going in the bowl. And then we'll leave a little bit to sprinkle on top. And then I have some caramel sauce, but I'm going to save that until I get everything into the baking pan. I'm going to go ahead and open up this Betty Cracker Fudge Brownie Mix. And pour it in. And... I got my oven preheating at 350. Get some of those chunks out of there. Mix things around a little bit. And then I will, woo, almost lost my little mixer. Then I will be adding in two tablespoons of water. I cracked my egg in a bowl separately just to make sure that it was a good egg. Be adding that in. I will be adding in a third cup of oil. and mixing it together. That, you guys, is it. But I'm telling you, just adding a few extra things to the brownie mix takes it up another notch. I'm sure you guys already know that, but I haven't done a video where I've made anything in a while and I knew I had to make this for Selena. So, here we go. Gonna bring my pan over and it is a greased pan. Let's get this off of here. We want all of it. I will also be doing videos tomorrow. I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit, but I will definitely be doing video showing you guys how I do my dry rub for my ribs and things like that. So let's get this into this eight by eight baking pan that I've covered with foil for easy cleanup. Spread that around a little bit. Then we're just going to drizzle a little bit of the caramel sauce on here. Hopefully we can drizzle it and not <laughs> just glop it in one spot. Okay. 
And then you could definitely go back with the butter knife and kind of mix it around like you do when you're making a marble cake. But I think this is good enough. These are just rough, just some rough, you know, brownies, nothing fancy. Throw my little pecans on top that we saved. So now we got a, a turtle brownie. We're gonna pop this in the oven at 354. Oh, how long did it say? Let me see. I'm sorry about the loud noise, you guys. Just clanking and smacking stuff around. This will go in for about 26 minutes. I'm gonna check it before that because this oven is a beast. It gets hot, it cooks fast. You better burnt your stuff up. So I'm gonna check it in about 20 minutes. So I'll be back when it is done, you guys. So you guys, here is the finished product. It ended up cooking for an extra five minutes, um, but my mouth is watering, I can't talk. They look amazing. Selena is going to love them. So that's gonna bring this video to a close, quick and easy, just you know, adding to something I already had, but I know she's gonna love it, and I hope you guys do too. If you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give it a big fat thumbs up and consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of Dee's Delicious Bites family. As always, I truly believe you're capable of amazing things. You just have to believe it too. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, and please be safe. Be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. Bye, guys. I will see you tomorrow in another video. Bye.